Let's get it started now. I'll give it my all from the word go. Don't backside the TV. Oh, it's this. Annoyed at myself. Good job. I've got my blood pumping. Thanks for that. I do not know what I'm doing. I do not deserve that persona finish. That looks awful. Oh, like actually just god awful. Brilliant. <laughs> no one can call me a total disappointment. Eight now. misses. It wasn't even that hard. It was. I. I. I just lost it. And I don't know why. I'm kind of tempted to play on hard, because, I mean, I really hope you guys have noticed, but but the notes aren't, also a lot of the notes aren't in time with the song, so the way it, where a song would be like, bum bum bum, you would expect the notes to then come in with bum bum bum, but it's not, you'll have like, bum bum bum, but then you'll have the notes either before or after, that bit, or like halfway through. Um, I noticed with some of the other songs where it's like the first one will be like bubble bam with the notes in time with it, but then the next one you start uh, doing the three notes and then the bubble bam starts in the song on like the second or third note and it just feels weird. <laughs> These games. 
Oh, my delivery has been pushed back to seven to nine now. Awesome. <laughs> I've never had an Amazon delivery push back this much, which is interesting. <laughs> wow. At the end of the song, the shadows surrounding us cheer and joy. Yosuke's dance charmed the shadows and freed them from that eerie song one by one. Also, my chair is still falling. <laughs> Uh, it lifts my spirits to see. I'm proud of him as a partner. Uh, oh, sorry, as his partner. Yosuke, well done. Phew. <laughs> How's that for expression, huh? Not bad, Yosuke. That was all you out there. Yeah, that dance had Yosuke written all over it. I can fuck up the next ten. I, I, I mean, you. I, I did that in that last song. I do get like that sometimes. I, I think I like to think I'm half decent at not doing that though. Like if I mess up, I might be like, Ugh, and then keep going with it, and usually keep up with what I was doing. Uh, but sometimes it does just sort of snowball. Uh, but that's just years of practice with Rock Band and Guitar Hero, so... <laughs> well, there goes the voice. That really ticks me off! Saying whatever and take it off just like that! Oh, I am so mad I don't care if it is a ghost anymore! But that voice... It was bothering me as well. Yuko seems to have noticed. Something about its words felt strangely wrong. What was it? If people like you didn't exist, they could all be happy? Never having to deal with pain and suffering? Wait. If you flip that around, isn't it saying as long as we're here, they'll have to deal with pain and suffering? Sounds like it actually understands like what we're saying. Time. <laughs> I just want to sweep the pain under the rug. It's it's really dumb because what I'm about to say it has a very easy translation. It's one of these things that you just sort of have, sort of have to power through, uh, and just sort of like accept, like, oh, you made a mistake, okay, oh, whatever, and then keep going. Yeah, it's 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 not gonna be flawless every time. Um, but if you want the shorthand version of that, um, get good <laughs> is my advice. Maybe the voice knows what it's saying is wrong. <laughs> Which sounds really crap. <laughs> but no, I've been playing... Well, I played... Uh, uh, Guitar Hero 3 around the time it came out. And then I've been on and off with, like, Guitar Hero World Tour was probably the big one that I played with the drums. Uh, and then I've played that, like, ever since. Uh, with, like... Old different or like the drums ever since uh either playing a lot of that or rock band or the other guitar hero games uh lego rock band was really good um and just stuff like that so yeah you have to get good if you don't try true so what it's <laughs> painful to face the truth so they're choosing to look away from it hmm. i noticed that it's hung up on the whole bonds thing too then we might be able to reach out to the voice after all yeah we gotta make it come to its senses even if it hurts us. In any case, our top priority is still saving everyone. If what that voice said is true, then Tomoe-san should be just ahead. All right, let's get hyped. Let's keep our momentum going and save Tomoe-chan. Then we'll meet up with Risei-chan. Right, okay. yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's kind of obvious how this is going to go. Um, we're going to save her. We're going to go to meet up with Risei. And it's like, oh, let's go meet up with Risei. And then you leave and then it cuts to black. And then you go back in time and uh, do what the other team did. Obviously. How long have we been running? As we run through the empty urban expanse, Yukiko suddenly calls out, pointing ahead, uh, pointing ahead of us. There she is. Whoa, that's definitely her. Those wistful eyes, that alluring look, that flowing hair. 
That's Kalamine Kitchen's leader. Tumulmine, the soft lamb. Wow. I mean, wow! Holy crap, this is a dream come true! Well, here we go. When it comes to this stuff, you can't shut him up. Yeah, Yosuke is just fangirling all the time, isn't he? <laughs> uh, that's definitely Tomoe. Uh, but still, recognize her before me, even though I'm the one who's who's mayor. Yosuke is amazing. As we talk amongst ourselves, Tomoe san notices us and bolts towards us before we can call to her. You, you were with Risei san, Yukun, right? Tomoe san, I'm glad to see you're safe. Are you hurt? I'm fine, but I couldn't find anyone else. I don't know what to do. I'm so worried. Sumomo, Tamami, Nozomi. Oh, I hope they're okay. Tamori uh, san uh, looks really shaken up. Compo uh, the composure she had on her first meeting is, is long gone. To calm her down, I decided to explain everything and calmly. Sorry. Try to explain everything calmly and steadily to her. We just rescued Tamami san. She's with Miss Ochimisu now. He's just always in horny mode. The others I mean, way to save potato, potato, right? <laughs> really? Oh, thank heaven. I was afraid something might have happened to them. <gasps> Where's Tamami? I need to see her. She must be feeling terrible right now. Whoa, um, T Tomomine, calm down. You're not really, uh, acting like yourself. Oh, oh my god. I'm sorry. I can't believe that I'm... I'm so sorry. Oh, no, no, no. It's it's fine. I was just surprised. I never really imagined Tomomine losing her cool, you know? Ooh. Come now, Tomoe. That's not the you that everyone wants. Yeah, everyone wants the version of you that never loses their cool. Good job, Yosuke. <laughs> the air around you suddenly goes cold, and that voice echoes around us. This time, it's definitely targeting Tomoe-san. I get ready to move quickly in case anything happens. You again? We won't let our guard down this time! Let's go, Tomoe. Your greatest performance is about to begin. Uh, uh... Stop it! Can't you see she doesn't wanna? Of course she does. This is all for her sake. I like Brock all the time and flirt with all the girls he sees. Right, Tomoe. No, he has a bit more class than that. He knows he's gonna get rejected, so he doesn't bother. <laughs> no, I'm not going. I don't want to perform here. It's okay, Tomoe. I know you're just saying that. You will come with me. It's what everybody wants. See? Wait, do we have to do three dances? Oh, we had to do three last time, didn't we? <laughs> You do one when you turn up, one when you meet them, and one when you defeat them. It's clear enough. Everyone is referring to the shadows around us. It's trying to push its will onto Toei-san. Whether she wants to or not. Look, the shadows here are connected by those ribbons, too. Come on, Toei. You're the leader. It's your job to live up to everyone's expectations, isn't it? Are you going to turn your back on them and run away? The... The leader. That's not your job. Listen to it, Tomoe san. Being a leader doesn't mean you have to appease everyone. Oh, you you're right. After all that stuff with Tamamine, we can't let our guard down. I'll protect Tomamine with my life. Yeah, but first we need to do something about these shadows. Chie was right. Even if we can uh can take Tomoe uh uh, to Tomei san uh, to a safe place. Like the dressing room Tomomi san it's to uh, <sighs> san's in. <laughs> we need to take care of this first. So now the only question is who's going to do the dancing? Don't worry, I'll handle this. Yukiko! I kind of understand Tomoe san's feelings. When everyone has high hopes for you, you want to make them happy. You really you doesn't get a chance to dance, do, does he? You don't want to disappoint anybody. I kind of so feel bad struggle. for him. It's always on your mind. You don't know what to do. But then again, people probably want to see Yukiko. their favorite characters dance. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah. But you can only be you. Nothing good comes from lying to yourself. I understand now that telling others who you are and being understood makes life so much better. <laughs> so 
so you think you understand. I'm afraid you don't understand anything. No one wants a bond that only brings you pain. Connect with me, and it will all be so clear. Oh, the song again. What do you say? Crank it up to 11. Eerie dance of the shadows begins. Next to me, Tomei San groans softly. Oh my. Uh, don't worry. Don't worry. Yukiko will pull through. As I think this, Risei's persona broadcast voice sounds in our head. Senpai, sorry to keep you waiting. Are you alright? Risei-chan, please prepare my song. There are shadows right in front of us. What? Um, okay. Oh, I've just realised Yu doesn't dance and neither will Risei. Because Risei's doing the music and you just... Is you. <laughs> oh, maybe it wasn't such a good idea to split up. I'm twice as busy here. <laughs> Sorry, Risei Chan. It's fine, it's fine. But promise me you'll use everything I taught you and make it your best performance. Mm -hmm. I'll focus on doing my best and not worry about dancing well. Huh? Uh, you really should try and dance well, Yukiko Senpai. <laughs> Ooh. Are you ready? Spacey. I'll get this done. <gasps> oh yeah. I hit that, thank you very much. Oh wow, I hit X instead of circle. Good job.
saxophone solo. I oh, said so that wasn't terrible, I just made some stupid mistakes. Goodness, it looks like they understood me. Dancing is hard, but you really can reach out to people if you put your heart into it. You could go breathe so deeply and walks back to your side, or our side even. Delicate, elegant, and somewhat defi uh, defiant. It was a beautiful dance that embodied Yukiko herself. That was excellent, Yukiko. Way to go, Yukiko! You were gorgeous! Oh man, that reminded me of the first time I tried asking you out on a date. <laughs> you did? When was that? Oh, never mind. Oof. Forget it. Pretty sure that was brought up in four. Not to expect anything. <laughs> so, you've poisoned them as well. That's not how it really is. And you know that, don't you? Chaining shadows down here isn't going to help anyone. Yeah, if you want to bond that bad, go out into the real world. It might be tough. You might feel a lot of pain, but you gotta find someone who will hear you out and show them- uh, The real you, sorry. <laughs> Just got so excited. Interesting, but you, don't get it. you kids, meaning it's an adult. Oh wait, is you going to be able to save her? Because he's the leader. So they'd have that connection, I don't know. Wow, this is deep. Tomoe san steps back and shakes her head in both denial and terror at the voice's implications. Hmm? Tomoe-san looks more frightened than I expected. Which means, just like with Tamami-san, the voice is deliberately going for her deepest insecurities that we don't know. This is just like what happened with Tamamine. You! On it! Feeling something bad coming, both Yosuke and I rushed to Tomei's to uh, to, uh, to side. Uh, uh, Tomei's um, whatever. Uh, <laughs> if this is just like earlier, then the instant uh, Tomei's uh, Tomei gives that into that voice. No! I'm guessing we got hit. Ribbons from all directions knock Yosuke and me away, where we both hit the ground. The ribbons coil around to uh, Tomei-san and pull her down the path. So powerful. I braced myself for the impact, but I still couldn't resist it. <laughs> what did I tell you? Tomoe isn't going with you. <laughs> Damn it. We couldn't stop it. We can't give up for Tomoe-san's sake. We'll keep trying until we save her. Come on, we've got to move. Yes, let's go. If we hurry, we can still catch up. A uh, sultry lounge is what this is called. After travelling down the path, Tomei-san uh, was taken. We encounter an unbelievable sight. A floor covered in bright neon shelves lined with liquor bottles. Uh, Gordian uh, Shinsi decoration here and there. This is... What is this place? It feels like somewhere shady you'd go to drink at night. Who's up for King's Game? Although, not that I've been the one. <laughs> But this looks kind of retro. Look, there's Tomoe chan. Uh, it's Ch uh, Chie's ex uh, exclamation. Uh, we all follow her gaze. 
in the middle of the stage, surrounded by neon uh, and all kinds of strange objects, like rubbery objects. <laughs> uh, Toei-san stands, looking up and yelling something. You're not me! No! I'm not doing it because I want to! <laughs> True. You aren't the sexy type at all. In fact, you're so shy, you've never gone out with a boy. And have a hobby of yours. <laughs> hobby? Who, who are you? Why do you know about that? But to lie, no one needs that, you know. If people are disappointed, their hearts will What's the hobby? <laughs> Holy girls left behind by their own leader. I... I... Sumomo... Nozomi... Tamami... Konami... Tomoe-san! Tomoe-chan! Noticing us, Tomoe-san tries to run towards us. The voice speaks again, as if to cut her off. Tomoe-san freezes in her tracks. Forget who you really are, Tomoe. Sexier than anyone. Dominant over everyone. The mature leader. That's the you everyone wants. I don't like where her shadow form's you going. Listen to what everyone has to say. <laughs> the word dominant is used. I love how she seems so seductive, in control. Like, they're supposed to be edible idols, but it feels like she's the one doing the eating. Um... That better than you attitude gives me chills. I love that sultry look, like she knows exactly what you want. These voices again! Without Tomomine, there's no sex appeal. I don't feel like supporting them without a little incentive. Hey, creepy. How old are all of these girls again? Because I thought they were either the same age or younger than Rise. I have to admit, it's the sexy ones I get the odds for. And that's Tomomine all over. I... I... Ah! See you tomorrow. Everybody wants the sexy, confident you, who has men wrapped around her little finger. Now, just accept it. There's no place for the real you. This isn't good. I try calling out to Moe san but it's too late. Moe san's lips, quivering in fear, uh, uh, quivering in fear up until now. Oh, ow. Curve into a crooked smile. That's right. This is all I have. <laughs> don't agree? Is that what we're going with? This is saying don't say it, don't agree. Okay. Tomoe-san. Also, feet pics? <laughs> Tied up feet pics? <laughs> Wrapped in ribbons, Tomoe-san only, uh, only laughs sadly as Black Mist starts covering her body. This is it just like uh, Tawami san? No, even stronger. The ominous presence engulfs the area, and the uh, miasma covering to uh, Tawami san uh, begins to uh, taking shape. Everybody is happy this way. The real me is worthless. Not again. Ow. Why does it have to end up like this? Her canon age isn't in her wiki. Mm. Guard, it's coming. Well, they were classed as Risei's juniors, which could mean that they're just not as experienced as she is, but. I assumed they were younger, or the same age at least. Hmm. That's a really pretty butterfly. I feel so hot. That's right. I am the butterfly, the queen of the night. It's useless trying to show the real me anyway. No one would ever understand. Come here, babe. Connect with me and feel the heat. Leave it all to me and I'll show you the time of your life. <laughs> Don't you prefer pleasure over pain? She could be the similar age as Yukiko. So, 17? Why go through the pain of expressing yourself? 
You get nothing Ish. That's not true. Uh, yeah. Uh, actually, no. Could they be 18? Well, second year. No, second year is 16 to 17. Third year would be 17 to 18. Oh, yeah, they could be 17 to 18 years old at this point. So she could be 18? Did I read any of that? Uh, that's not true. <laughs> Ignoring the cheering of the shadows suddenly fills the stands. I, I stand to face uh, Tomei san. My gaze meeting the two cold, glowing eyes mm -hmm. uh, behind the giant butterfly mask. I yell out at the monster. Don't hide that's yourself. That's not true. Tomoe san, you're no, just you're hiding wrong. behind someone else's desires. Yukon is right. Maybe nobody has understood you yet, but you can't give up that easily. Watch me, Tomoe san. I'll show you what it means to express yourself. All right, get him, you! Wait, are we just telling people it. to show me their true form? Rise, can you hear me? I need my song. Loud and clear, senpai. Okay, here comes the beat. Let's do this. Play the music. Come on, something good. What haven't we had yet? Let's get it started now. I mean, like some of the big Don't stuff we won't have until later. Keep your Signs of love. Sure you'll be fine. Don't know what this is. That went well. All right. Yeah. Oh, it's this. Well. I do know this. Oh, completely missed that entirely. There, we're getting through to Tomoe san. You got me fired up. Thanks, Yukiko. Wow, you two really went all out. Perfect. You got me fired up too, Yukiko. Dance with me again sometime. Yeah. All right. How's that? Oh. 
That wasn't that bad. One miss. Really Upset about ability. that. I've not been able to do a, a song yet with no misses. I've had at least one on every one. I think, which is kind of annoying. Did he do it? But of course I did. I'm me. No. Oh. It's fine, you should have seen you should have seen Risei's damn. We're the same. And I'm sure there are people out there who will accept you as you are, Tomoe san. Tomoe san silently looks down and uh, and if in deep thought, then raises her head and looks us directly in the eyes. A newfound resolution burns in her eyes. When I was a student, I I told a friend about my hobby. What's your hobby? She laughed so hard. I got scared. Couldn't face her. What is the hobby? <laughs> we weren't friends anymore. Huh? Wow, I'm sorry. I guess that was when I learned to distance myself from everyone else. Can't be that bad. I was scared to be myself. Tomoe chan! <laughs> What's the hobby? Just so we understand, could you tell us what that hobby is? What, dude? Didn't she just tell us how it was a sore subject? Shut up, Yosuke. No, it's okay. This is the first step. It's gonna we be like, to be able to talk about like origami or something like that. Thank you, Yukun. What is it? I, I, I'm weird. Yeah. Okay. What is it? I love manga. I watch TV at home all day. I just can't get out of my kotatsu. Murder, she's the killer getter! <laughs> what, a, what a hobby that would have been. Come on. On my days off, I stay in my PJs, eat snacks, drop crumbs all over, and waste hours online checking my favorite sites! She's us. That's it. She's just us. I'm starting to feel personally attacked. I see manga I like and I buy it! Then I realize I already have that volume, but I'll let <laughs> it go. God, I'm awful. Now that part sounds slightly familiar. Not for me, though. <laughs> uh, bludging it all, <laughs> all out in one breath and losing s speed towards the end. Tomoe San's incredible confession comes to an end. What am I supposed to say? I can't think of anything immediately. I looked at, to Yosuke next to me for help, but he appears to be in shock. Probably for a different reason. Uh, wait, uh, are you oh, he's in love with her now, isn't he? <laughs> Buying two of the same manga? I do that too! <laughs> <laughs> Yukiko-san! Now is not a good time for that. What if this traumatizes Tomomine even more? <laughs> no, it is funny for sure. I mean, who'd need two, right? <laughs> oh boy. So she's that type? Oh, and I thought one was tough enough to deal with. <laughs> Yukiko and Tomei-san's laughter echoes throughout the room, and the rest of us just stand there, staring in amusement. <laughs> then, suddenly a familiar beam of light descends on a spot a little away from us. It's 
So does this go to the same one as a different again? dressing room? That same door we saw with Tamami-san. Is this the door to the dressing room at our office? How come it's here? Why don't we go inside? Uh, carefully. We don't know yet if it's safe inside. Oh, no, it is the red one. Okay. Are oh, the like other thought, two in here? It looks pretty much the same as last time. Yeah, you can't hear that song either, huh? Anyway, we should probably take a short rest. We've saved Tamami-san and Tomoe-san so far. I'm sure you're all feeling tired by now. Whew, don't mind if I do. This dancing stuff is really killing my legs, you know. Everyone relaxes, letting the tension ebb away. But in the fourth book of part four, I just want to book short sure, because I'm not sure if you've already bought it or not. Uh, I'm a little tired myself. Take a seat in a nearby chair. With perfect timing, Risei calls us up with her persona. Senpai, are you okay to talk? Risei, yeah, we're good. We just saved Tomoe-san. Uh, huh? Oh no, I can't be going crazy. I, I can hear Risei-san's voice inside my head. And Yukun is talking back to her? Oh boy, here we go again. They can't help it. Wait. It is getting repetitive though. She calls him Yukun, so he, she's older than you is. Right? From what you were saying, for Angelica, what you were saying about the, uh, the, uh, suffix thing that they add? Uh, I know that Yukiko didn't mean anything by it, uh, but she could probably afford to be a little more sensitive. You know what? No. I glance at everyone explaining persona communication out of the corner of my eye, uh, as I focus on talking with Risa. How is it over there? Is everyone alright? So she has to be 18, at least. I gotta say, it is a bit rough without you guys. By the way, about Miss Ochimizu. Because you is at least 17. Yeah, it seems like the shadows don't attack her for some reason. Wait, how do you know that, Senpai? We ran into her too. Oh, I see what's going on. Geez, she does whatever she wants, like always. What do you mean? It's nothing. Anyway, we've got some catching up to do. I'll fill you in once we meet up. All right. We'll be waiting. Bye, Senpai! Uh, as I end the conversation with Risei, my friends finish up explaining to Tomei-san, we relax. The conversation turns in casual. As we're talking, Yukiko calls out to us, apparently noticing something in the makeup corner. Hmm, is it the weird note on the mirror that's in the same place as the last one? Hmm? <laughs> it's just like when we were with Tamami-san. Oh, not that again! And I was this close to putting it out of my mind! Before even reaching Yukiko, we knew what she found. Just like tamami san a note. Uh, making sure I have everyone's attention, I take a look at the co uh, at the contents. As I thought, although the actual text is different from the one in, in tamami sans room, it's pretty much a co uh, continuation. The morning glory won't bloom, no matter how hard I wish. I've already forgotten my true face. My love for music has grown cold. I'm scared to sing. Scared to get on the stage. Scared to face my fans' expectations. How would she feel if I left? I don't want to make her sad, but nothing can fill the void in my heart. Maybe it is just the idol this person's doing all this. Some hard times. It's even worse than and the last note. Oh, her heart. Uh, the power of our heart just got so intense of the voidy emptiness of it all. Um, created this world and all like the ribbon stuff with it after she killed herself and thus manifested the voice. Um, and I think she is more related to uh, the manager or the producer than it seems. Because she said... Uh, uh, how would she feel? Yeah, how would she feel if I left? I think that's where, uh, that's either Konami or it's uh, uh, Miss Ochumazi or whatever her name is. <laughs> Ghost or not, this is just plain scary. Could the culprit behind this really be a ghost? That idol who committed suicide? Even if that's possible, it's too soon to judge yet. Could just figure out who wrote these, I wouldn't be as freaked out. Idol, 
suicide, morning glory, calisthegia. Calisthegia? What a name! What kind of name is that? Calisthegia. It's another name for morning glory, but don't tell me. We all turned to Tomei-san at a sudden outburst. At her sudden outburst, she was staring into space as if trying to remember something. Tell Does me. she? You know what this note is about? N no, but it reminded me of something I heard when our appearance at LMB was finalized. A very popular idol who was with Takura Productions passed away a few years back. It was apparently big news back then. <sighs> okay. So, it was a few years back. So the girl that found the body could be Konami. Just before she died, she wrote one final song. Calisthegia. A flower commonly known as morning glory. <laughs> if you can't is a flower. Mm, yeah, it's nothing else whatsoever. That song, Calisthegia. <laughs> That's the new song we're debuting at the LMB Fest. Oh. That belonged to Takara Productions, who has a connection with Kanemichi. Yeah, there's nothing like pissing off a dead ghost by stealing their material. It does match the profile we came up with. Uh, this conversation is going in a bad direction. Are you saying the culprit is seriously a, a, g a ghost? Chie, breathe, relax. It's too early to jump to any conclusions. But yeah... Things are starting to connect here. No! Oh, that doesn't help a single bit! Drive a stake through my heart, why don't you? No, you're wrong, it's the name of an orphanage. True. Uh, I calm down the rowdy team and look squarely at Tomei-san. Uh, whether or not that idol is the culprit of this case, I think we need to get more information. Tomoe-san, do you know why that particular song was selected for Kanamin Kitchen? Ms. Ochimizu. Ms. Ochimizu? Yes, it was her decision. Calisthegia never saw the light of day. After what happened, its release was put on hold indefinitely. But Miss Ochimizu said that'd be a key selling point. Seriously? Tomoe-san, um, if you don't mind, can I ask you the name of the idol that passed away? Oh, yes, it's... Yuko Osada. Is she here with the other idol? Mizu Chimizu, why are you here? Yuko's curse. The notion is so ridiculous. I'd expect to find it on the cover of a tabloid. You don't have to put it like that. How can you say that for sure? Having Kanami and Kitchen sing Yuko-san's song might be an effective marketing strategy. But it could well be thanks to you that they were thrown into this incident. I can see your position. In a place like this, it's easy to think some monster or ghost is responsible. However, it's impossible that this is Yuko's curse. It's flatly out of the question. Lady, we literally fought a, an actual god. Don't tell us what's possible. <laughs> you can't know that for sure! Yes, I do. And that's the end of the conversation. Tomoe, choose your words more carefully if you don't want to make a fool of yourself. See what chaos you've caused? Uh, I'm sorry. How could you? Miss Ochimizu's uh, attitude was clearly aggravate has sorry was clearly aggravating Chie and Yukiko. It is strange. Miss Ochimizu does tend to speak aggressively, but this uh, but this time feels different, like a rush of emotion. Why is that? As I try to calm Chie and Yukiko down, I ponder the possibilities. I understand their feelings. We're trying to account for, uh, for actual victims here, uh, and being worried about their safety makes us emotional. But attacking Miss Ochimizu is the wrong way to deal with it. We don't even know the extent of her connection here. Everyone, that's enough. We don't know if Miss Ochimizu is even a part of this. No, I apologize. I shouldn't have lashed out. In any case, I'll take it from here. Tomoe, stay here with me until you've recovered. Is that clear? Yes, ma'am. Are we not gonna? Are we not gonna ask about the other idol? I miss Ochimizu's calm apology. Chie and Yukiko come back to themselves. I know Yukiko and Chio don't want to blame Miss Ochimizu uh, if it's not justified. 
Yosuke starts talking and trying to change the subject. So why are you here, Mizuchi? Yeah, Tanamin. Is Tanamin okay? Yes, I came after you. I figured if you saved another girl, she would need looking after, like in Tamami's case. As for Tamami, she's fine. That room seemed pretty safe, and she's calmed herself down. Idols aren't that fragile. I see. Thank you. Anyway, you've successfully saved Tamami and Tamoe. I'd like to thank you, but I think I'll wait until this whole mess is over. We're looking forward to that. Let's get out of here together, all of us. I'm afraid I must leave that to you. Neither Tomoe nor I are of much use here. It's always like that. Every crisis I face, I'm made aware of my powerlessness. Go once you're ready. That's a weird thing for a producer to say. And play detective all you want. But that's quite enough throwing around baseless accusations. So Chimizu makes her final statement and leaves. I still have my doubts. Her powerlessness? Again, something in her words feels wrong. But it almost like self-deprecation. And from that, I think there's a reason behind the way she speaks normally. Somehow, I can't take her at face value. Sus. I hate to say this, but I just can't seem to like her. <laughs> the way she acts, I'd be surprised to find someone who does. I have a feeling she has her reasons for it. Anyway, let's hurry. We need to meet up with Risei's team and find a way out. I'm sorry I made things awkward. I'll focus on solving the case. Yeah, me too. I'm really getting hungry, so let's just get this over with. Oh, same, Chie. Once we get same. Back home. <laughs> That's just like you, Chie. Sounds like a plan. Huh. Nobody would think of dinner at a time like this except for you know who. Aw, oh, sheesh, guys. I can't help it. I'm only human. Everyone laughs at Chie's pow uh, pouting, as usual. Yeah, we're fine, just like we always are. After exchanging looks with my friends, we've stood uh, who stood at some, who have stood at my side through countless trials. We step towards the door, and die. <laughs> hey, it's another trophy. After Yu's team left the dressing room. All that remained was Miso Chimizu and the flustered Tomei sitting alongside, uh, yeah, alongside her. Hmm, some buildup on your face. Oh, um, I've been here since yesterday, and I couldn't do anything about it, so. I see. Yes, that makes sense. Sorry, what? You're the eldest member of Kanamine Kitchen, correct? The LMB Festival is right around the corner. Huh? What? Oh, yes! You know, I've heard that exercise is good for the skin. I'll, I'll exercise! Uh, uh, some dance practice! Please allow me! Right now! Right here! Go on, then. Let me sit in front of Ichizu and began dancing desperately. Uh, no, no, you're not getting it at all. Listen to me, Tomoe. You need some real nuance, some emotion in that dance. Something like... A female veteran of the company's lowest department advising the new addition to the group these are her backstory right like the orphan thing was her as a kid i'm guessing a woman's worth is measured by the number of men she has conquered do you feel her pride her sorrow oh my god i'm ashamed of myself i didn't understand my routine at all I'm very confused. After exiting the dressing room, uh, I took a good look around. Alright, there's no sign of any shadows appearing here. I think it's safe to leave Mr. Chim uh, Chimizu and Toei-san here. Uh, glancing onto my side, I noticed Yosuke stretching. Good, looks like he managed to get a little more rest back there. Alright, then let's meet up with Risei. Whew, 
Man, I'm really starting to ache here. It's because of you guys that we were able to save Tamami-san and Tomoe-san. Thanks for being with me. Come on, man. Why are you thanking us? We're the investigation team, remember? Saving people in danger is our thing! You know, you. I was wondering. It's about Mizo Chimizu. Did she seem to you like she was acting kind of strange? Mizo Chimizu? Something in my memory flicker, uh, flicked at the, his question. Uh, I did feel like something. I did feel something wrong with Miss Ochimizu back there. Is Yosuke talking about how Miss Ochimizu got suddenly emotional? I mean, it was strange, but you think so? Really? Was she? You didn't notice? Oh, what? No, that, me, then? that's not what I meant. I meant. Uh, well, what did you think was strange? I thought that was like a think. You think so too? I noticed something too. She became pretty emotional, didn't she? Yeah. Right when the topic of that idol Yuko came up. It's only a hunch right now, but my gut tells me there's something she's not telling us. But what? I agree with the, with most of Yosuke's uh, opinion. We don't know what, but Mr. Chimizu is definitely hiding something from us. It's most likely has something to do with the with this Yoko uh, Osada, but... Well, I don't know yet. That's actually why I thought I'd bring it up. What do you think of it all? I mean, including the whole Yuko Osada thing. You mean whether or not this Yuko-san is the culprit? Uh, I'd like to stay away from that possibility. Hey, don't forget. The LMB website's rumor was about the curse of the dead idol in the first place. And what with these messages, which read almost like suicide notes. It does point to Yuko Osada causing this incident. Longing for bonds she couldn't have before. Also, she was with Takura Productions, and Kanemin Kitchen is performing her song at the LMB. Huh? But... She knew too much? There are a lot of connections. But that voice seemed to know a lot of close personal information about Tamami-san and Tomoe-san. It's hard to imagine that Yuko-san would know that much about them. Yuko-san wasn't the culprit! Huh. You've got a point there. Tomomin didn't know much about Yuko-san. And it seemed like Tomomin didn't either. Besides, Kanamin Kitchen hasn't been around for that long. When you think about it, there's no way Yuko-san could have known them. As I thought, knowing Yosuke, I'm sure the info on Kanamin Kitchen is accurate. If that's the case, it's hard to think that the voice is Yuko-san. But that means... Ah, oh, crap. It looks like we're back at square one. If it's not her, then who the hell's the culprit? If the author of those notes is really Yuko-san like Tomoe-san suggested, then we can assume the culprit also knows about Yuko-san. So it's someone who's related to Takura Productions, who knows Tomoe-chan and Tamami-chan very well, and also knows about Yuko-san. Do we know anyone who might fit all of that? No, no idea. Hey, who said it's limited to people we know? Huh? But then, we're out of luck! Why don't we meet with Risei-chan? It's always better to have more heads to think with. Oh yeah! And they've got Naoto-kun with them! With the real detective and our leader together- It's a real shame we can't think of anyone that is any, like, <laughs> remotely close to that description. Uh, why are you the one bragging? <laughs> I'll try my best. Let's head to the rendezvous point then. Suddenly we felt a shock, as I thought an enemy was attacking, but it seems like something else entirely. This what? is... What? What the... An earthquake! What? This is not a good sign! Something might have happened to the other group. Let's hurry! And fade to black. And... Yeah, here we go. Whoa! And... There you go, now it splits off. Who's gonna be the leader? What was the thing down here? Tanami's training? These are extra? Weird. Okay. Anyway, I think we'll leave it there for today, because I am very hungry. God, that was all one chapter? I thought it was going to be two chapters. Like, one for each girl. Guess not. Uh, but yeah, anyway. 
yeah, we're gonna wrap it up there because I need to get some food and stuff. So thank you everyone so much for joining in today. It's been great having each and every one of you here, as always. Um, if you are new to channel and you did enjoy yourself, feel free to follow. It's greatly appreciated. And I hope you find channel if you do want to hop on back. Um, we'll be back to this on Monday. Um, as uh, we are doing Dark Souls tomorrow. Uh, which is the whole uh, timer thing. So it's Dark Souls 2 specifically. So that should be interesting. Um, and then we've got, I think we've got D&D on Sunday, I believe. So that should be pretty cool as well. Um, and then, you know, like I said, back to this on Monday. Um, I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, but yeah, uh, as always, thank you everyone so much for joining in today. Um, uh, thank you to everyone that's already followed. It keeps coming back. You guys are amazing. I do greatly appreciate each and every one of you for sticking around, hanging out, all that good stuff, because you guys are amazing to hang out with. So thank you so, so much for that. Um, uh, and, and as always, massive shout out to my subscribers, cheerers, donors, gifters, all that good stuff. It means a hell of a lot that you guys support me in the ways that you do. It means so, so much. Thank you everyone so much for that. It does really mean a lot. So thank you. Um, uh, as always, social media stuff is all down below. Discord's great, be sure to check that out if you haven't done so already. A um, whole bunch of different stuff on there. Uh, we do have a game voting thing going on at the minute. So if you want to vote on what game we play after we finish this, so probably sometime next week, um, then uh, have a look on there. There is a fair bit to look through, actually. Uh, where, where are we with the voting stuff? Uh, if I can actually click on the right thing. Uh, nope. Game voting, here it is. Uh, currently, uh, Pillars, of, Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire and Super Mario Galaxy, on, uh, which is the Super Mario 3D All-Stars version, um, are both in the lead with seven votes, followed by Sunset Overdrive. I'm very surprised that's as high up as it is. Um, I sort of threw that in there thinking, see who wants to see that sort of thing. Um, but okay, uh, and then it's Dragon Ball Fighter Z and then Fury. Uh, currently. I thought Dragon Ball Fighter Z would have been higher up, but I'm not complaining, so I want to play all of these. So, um, yeah, so if anyone wants to vote on those, uh, if you just go over to game voting and just react to the ones that you want to see, uh, if you don't mind what we play, if you just react to all of them, uh, then it shows that you don't mind what we play. Uh, it's more helpful than not voting for any of them, put it that way. Um, but also thank you everyone that's already voted and is planning on voting and stuff, it means a lot, so thank you. Um, but yeah, also, also on Discord you've got game, uh, game requests, game, uh, uh, well you got notification when I go live, you got game requests, song requests, game voting, game schedule, a whole bunch of other stuff. Be sure to check it out if you haven't done so already. Oh, uh, there is another thing, in the game schedule uh, channel, uh, I have edited it now, uh, so uh, current game is obviously this. Um, and then you've got the winning game of game voting, but then I've also put in Persona 5 Strikers and Monster Hunter Rise, which we will be playing on release date for both. Um, so I just sort of put them in there to be like, when these come out, we're playing them sort of thing. Uh, so if we're playing something like in the middle of something, when one of those comes out, it will be put on hold while we play those because I really want to play them when they come out so yeah <laughs> just thought i put them in there anyway um but yeah uh i think that's about everything so thank you everyone so so much for joining in today it's been great having each and every one of you here as always oh we have a youtube channel down below as well that's a thing if you want to catch any of our single player stuff most of it is recorded and put up on there um we just finished persona 4 golden hence why we're playing persona 4 dancing all night um uh with 100 percent playthrough and everything if any of you have missed it it's all up on there for you in hourly chunks in playlists all that good stuff so yeah plenty of other stuff on there as well so uh check it out if you want to but yeah i think that's about everything so thank you everyone so so much for joining in today it's been great having each, each and every one of you here as always i hope you guys have a great day night evening whatever time it is for you i'll hopefully catch you guys tomorrow for dark souls 2 sunday for maybe D, &D and possibly monday for more of this so yeah i'll see you guys then bye I hit the wrong button. I hit minus. It's embarrassing, isn't it? God, imagine not hitting the right button. Hit the right button this time. Bye!